college to high school, the ball was up all day and all night on MLK Day. There were two tournaments in the Metro. We start with the Rumble in the South at the Arc at St. Andrews. Callaway, four-star prospect. Deshaun Ruffin taking on Peel to deny him the charges. Dandy Dozen, Caleb McGill kick out to Jamar Jenkins for the first points of the game for the Panthers there. How about the defense now from Ruffin? He snatched the ball there, and he will get an easy lay-in. And Ruffin again, this time snatching the rebound, and he gets in transition. Watch this play. Goes up the court, the ball's gonna get blocked and the ball gets stuck in the backboard. It might be the first one we've got on camera this season. As time winding down, Callaway gets a steal. Kendarius Buckley slams it home as the buzzer sounds for the first half. Callaway wins 69-53, roughing with a game high 20 points and MVP honors. St. Andrews taking on Brandon, the host team for today. Dandy Dozen, Rashad Bolden takes it to the rack. A nice finish for their first book of the game. He finished the game high 24 in MVP honors. Jake Dowdle, the sophomore, proving basketball analytics wrong with the long two for the Saints. Branding showing some good ball movement around the world to Ishmael Rashid for three. And for the Bulldogs, trying to keep it close in the first quarter, trailing by only a few. Jay Sean Harper gets the nice move, and the floater is good for two points. For St. Andrews, they win 67-52. Wingfield and Raymond, there was the final game of the night at the Rumble in the South. Jabari Robinson starts off with the nice move and finished with the left hand for the Rangers. And look out below, probably the dunk of the night here, Damari and Arrington just rises up and slams it on the defender. The Falcon flying high there. Lots of back and forth in this one. Kira Stimmage, he's going to take advantage of the nice feed for the easy layup. Good pass there. How about the big man, Jacon Curry, with the ball handling skills behind the back to the rack for the layup. Wingfield, they won a close one over Raymond, 68 to 65. And over at Lanier for the MLK tournament, Terry and Madison Central faced off. And the Jaguars, they would start off on offense here as Caleb Kent hits the first bucket of the game, and that is a three ball, so the Jags up early on. Check out this play. Amarion Walker gets the steal, goes behind the back, and gets the nice bucket in transitions. He puts Terry on the board. And how about the outlet for the Jags? It gets stolen, but it gets stolen right back. Isaiah Spencer with the nice, plays, the nice play there as he gets in and scores. Then later, Amarion Walker with the nasty pass to Devin Rees. He finishes the play. He's going to go between his legs here with the pass. No final score reported by airtime for that game. And finally, Crystal Springs and Lanier would wrap up the MLK tournament as Lanier and Crystal Springs wrapping it up. And check out Terrell Dixon. He's going to get the rebound. And no one's going to stop this kid. <laughs> this is what we call coast to coast. And the Bulldogs were up five after that bucket. They're up one at halftime. The dogs go inside to the big dog, Mike Brown. Lanier will go up by 10 in the third quarter. And they get another fast break opportunity from Dixon to finish it. The Bulldogs, they get the win 63-55 over Crystal Springs to close out the MLK tournament. And that's all for sports. We'll be right back after this. <laughs>